Howdy folks, uh, I hope you're all well today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, all the usual stuff out of the way as per normal. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. It's interactions like that that help this channel stay well up in the YouTube rankings and just as, if not more importantly, it's customers, not just visitors to our Optics Weekends and our website or those ringing up over the phone that help keep this channel going and I can keep coming up with fresh content. So in a previous video we had a look at this particular scope and I, I said I wouldn't do go through everything in one video and so today we're going to just have a quick look at how to put on a 45 degree uh, erect image 2 inch diagonal. The problem with some telescopes is refractors if you put a 2 inch uh, prism diagonal on there's not enough inward travel to get focus and in, in, in you struggle not such a pro well it is no problem with this setup I repeat with this setup you know the diagonal and eyepiece I'm going to show you because diagonals and eyepieces are different so I'm referring to this setup so what I'm going to do I'll, I'll, I'll just go through everything so I'm taking the eyepiece off one and a quarter inch off Taking the diagonal off, and that's your 1.25 inch. So then you get your 2 inch diagonal. No, nope, it's not going on. So all you do is not that one, these two here, these grub screws, slacken them off, and that now means you can put in the two inch diagonal and you'll notice with this one there there is also a one and a quarter inch aperture there should you want to put your normal eyepiece in but we don't want that so what we do we un unslacken that central piece and now you can get your two inch eyepiece and put it in there and I'll go through what eyepiece that is in a second the problem with some diagonals or, or, or maybe the diagonals are right but the eyepiece might be a different sort of configuration of, of uh, optics inside you try to focus and you know, on infinity and there's not enough inward travel with this setup I could get infinity focus and, and uh, safely with a solar filter and I saw some really nice sunspots today there was about five millimeters in hand but it will focus on infinity and uh, that, that probably means it's quite actually easy straight out of the box to set it on infinity just take it out and do that so what I've got here is the Ostara 45 degree dielectric coated 2 inch diagonal which is a prism and the Ostara semi-wide angle 2 inch 26 millimeters with this setup I can get infinity focus with this scope other, other 2 inch eyepieces may or may not work I, I don't know um, I, I don't carry that many in stock so I can't guess uh, tell but straight away the if you like your wide field astronomy you go on to these chaps, these, these two inch eyepieces, you'll never go back to one and a quarter inch. The, 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 the view you get, it, it's, it's picture window, extremely long eye relief. And uh, also for terrestrial use, that wide view will make objects very, very easy to track. And so, yeah, that's a, just a quick demonstration on how to put a, a 45 degree uh, prism, I keep having to think there, prism, not mirror, prism diagonal onto the Skywatcher Star Travel 102. I'm assuming that if you use a, a 90 degree or, or, you know, or, or a mirror diagonal then you'll probably be able to have much more travel in the, uh, in the focuser. Talking of which, with this Skywatcher you can just see, I think, a little screw there on top and you can adjust the tension of your focuser because if 
you're looking quite high up and you've got a quite a heavy eye, eyepiece on there it may slowly start creeping down the same as if you're doing DSLR photography so you can tighten the focuser up so yeah I hope that helps as always thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time